Hello traders and great to be back with you. It is January 3rd, 2013 and you know what I forgot? I forgot the tie. Can you believe it? New year and I forgot the tie. I do have the tie, I just forgot to put it on. Hey, welcome back 2018. Here we are, ready for another year. Glad to be back traders. I have to tell you it is great to be back. It was a great two weeks, a lot of friends in uh, town visiting on holiday, um, lots of social uh, events, um, really good time, but I am really glad to be back trading my full schedule, trading live, doing all that stuff. I'm really excited to be here on 2018, on a January 3rd. We're gonna get started and we're gonna talk um, Forex. Uh, maybe even a little bit of options today. All right. So what's going on? Let's just uh, take a look at the economic calendar for today. Um, you know what, let's bring up this week. So hopefully everybody had a safe time and a good time over the holidays, took some breaks, uh, did some stuff. Wow, look at all these holidays. Oh, that's Monday, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, so it's Wednesday already, short week. Um, I was in the markets yesterday and it was um, pretty sluggish. <laughs> You know, Friday is NFP Friday. We saw NFP Friday this week. And, um, you know, we expect the markets to get a little bit sluggish probably tomorrow after London lunch um, or Friday um, basically after Asia. So we'll see. Hopefully we'll get some volatility back. It's good news is we got a little bit of movement on the VIX uh, since um, last Thursday. So, you know, we're starting to see some, some people getting back in the market. That's a great thing, right? Really great thing. Um, uh, Japan, I think, is, is China. Japan is off today, um, so uh, let's see what's going on on a Wednesday. Um, see, I don't have that. Hot. Yeah, Japan's off. Okay, Japan's off. So um, today we got uh, Swiss. He's got retail sales year on year. Euro German unemployment change comes out for December uh, in the London session. Then we got construction PMI out of the pound. Um, oh, wow. The U.S. looks pretty dull other than ISM manufacturing PMI. That's usually a mover. So, uh, you know, I do like that piece of data. That does does some movement. Um, and then, um, yeah, hopefully we'll get something there. I'm not a, I don't trade news events. Um, I trade after the event. So I don't actually trade the event. Um, I used to be really good at it. Like, Six years ago, I was really good at trading news events. Now I just, I'm horrible at it, so I just don't do it. But I do trade after it. I wait about 20 minutes, 30 minutes after the event. Or I get into it right away if it's in a big move, and uh, we'll trade the event at that point. So not much going on in data today. What's going on in Asia tomorrow morning? Um, we have um, Gaxon Services PMI out of China in the morning. So, you know, not a bad start. You know, we're starting this uh, new year off a little bit slow. Um, that's all right. So, S&P futures um, is up, uh, it's positive 0.9%. NASDAQ futures is up 0.11%. And the Dow is up 0.42%. With the small cap 2000 down 11.50%. The DAX is down negative 0.39%. And the dollar index is down 0.47% at 91.56. Now, this is a topic we got to just hit on a little bit. And that is because this dollar index is so low, you have to watch your dollar pairs. You know, listen, the euro, the pound, um, the Aussie is a commodity pair. It's somewhat different, but it still reacts to the, you know, to the dollar if it's strong or not. And, you know, just got to watch the dollar pairs, you know, and just realize that those countries not, are not necessarily strong. Listen, the euro is not strong. Nothing's good number-wise has come out of the euro. The pound's a disaster, right? So remember that this is because the dollar's weak that these, these pairs are moving up. But as we start, we're going to look at some 30-minute charts today, and you're going to see that a lot of these charts are sideways, a little bit of movement here, a little bit of movement there. But basically, they're really not doing a lot. It's just not happening. So... Just watch this dollar index. We need to see a really quick jump on the dollar index. Hopefully, you know, in the next two weeks, we get back up to that 93 area. You know, basically where we left off at that 94 half area. You know, that's where we want to get back to as soon as we can. Get that dollar strength back in there. 
who can start selling a lot of these pairs. Now, I just sit back and wait. If you want to buy these pairs, it's not a bad thing. Um, the dollar's weak. But you just understand that the move is coming from uh, the dollar weakness, not that those countries are doing well. Okay? All righty. Uh, let's take a look at oil and all that good stuff. You know, I haven't, I haven't looked at um, a lot of this stuff since I, since I took my two-week break. And I see gold is above that 13 level. It's $1,322.60 as we speak. Crew WTI is at 60.42, still above that 60 mark. And Brent is at 66.50. So now we have oil up and we have gold up. And they said when, uh, you know, all this stuff was going on with Bitcoin that gold took a dump. Well, now they're both up. So who knows what's going on with that? Um, U.S. coffee, my friends, is up 3.13%. That's a good thing. All right, so that's what's going on on the data stuff. Let's get to some charts. A little bit longer today, just because first day back, sort of like getting to it. If you showed up late, by the way, I do have my tie. I do have the tie. Tie is here. I forgot to put it on. <laughs> hey, you know, what can I say? First day back, I forgot to put my tie on. But I do have it. I do have the tie. I do have the tie. All right. So here's a New Zealand dollar. I was looking at this, Barrett. I'm I really um, looking to get in this. I'd like to see a break of this support level here that we're at. And, you know, if, if would it be, let it be, you know, I, I, you know, I like to put a trend line like from here and just run this trend line up to like there. And let's see if we can get a, a move here. And we can sell this little boy here, like at 95, right? So if, you know, we, we're at 70, 96. So like, if we can do this, I'm all in, right? I think this is a, I think this is a, I think this is not a bad trade. We're going to have a little problem here at this um, 0 0.7084 area. We're going to have some problem. We're going to get a bounce there. But then if you look down in here, it's a wide open space. And, you know, we all love trading on wide open spaces. You know, just open and just take it down. There's not much left of the chart. And you all know I'm really crazy about that left of the chart thing. Um, so, you know, this is a good thing. All right, let's get moving. Like I said, a little longer today. It's first day back. Sort of get my bearings and all that good stuff. Now, let's take a look at the euro. Here's a euro that's not at a bad level here. Again, this has been regulated by the dollar. And um, nothing to do here, but I, I got to be honest with you. If we can get a short here at 2030, that's not a bad thing. And then you're going to get some problems here probably at um, 1955. Well, you'll be break even by then. And even if you get trouble here at 2024, you're going to be 15 pips in profit. You know, you can get break even if you wish. And the, the drawdown on this trade is really small. Again, you know, we'd look to get in at uh, basically 2045, 2030 area, and we're going to place our stop at 2060. So we're looking like a 25, 25 pip uh, drawdown here, and, you know, we're looking for 70, right? We're looking for 70. We want, want to take some really nice profits on this. But we just got to watch it. And, again, it's all about the dollar, my friends, all about the dollar. Let's take a look at the um, Great British Pound. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> this is what you call Bill Cannot Type on the first day back. There we go. Here's the pound, right? Look at this up move in the pound. Listen, <laughs> there's no good news <laughs> or data out of the Great British Pound, unfortunately, again, this is all about the dollar. And I keep hammering that because I don't want people to focus in on the, the pound itself. We want to focus in on why our price action is doing what it's doing. So, again, we're at resistance here, right? We're at resistance. You know, let's get two hours before the London Open. Get your charts open and see if we can sell this, right? See if we can sell this. And, you know, if, you're, if your mindset is, hey, listen, 
This is going to continue to the upside. I'm okay with that. I have no problem. Listen, I don't care which way it goes. If it goes up or down, it doesn't make a difference. We're Forex traders. We're going to make money on both sides, right? So why don't we just take this high here, and we'll take this down to here, that swing, all right? Stop that. If you want to go long, just wait for the 0 0.786 Fib here, and we'll get in it at 1.3560. 30 right 1.3560 will take it to the upside and you know you're going to get almost 30 pips before you get back to this resistance level so you break even so even if it gets back to the resistance level and takes a dive to the downside you've made 25 pips in your pocket right easy trade easy nice easy go right or it's going to get down to the 0 0.786 fib and it's just going to dump right it's just going to continue to go down but you got a lot of junk right here left of the chart traders that's what's going on um again the uh dollar index is currently at 91.8 and um just let me take a quick hand here what is uh, i can't find out we'll talk about it tomorrow traders thanks for being with me we're back it's 2018 i'm excited i do have the tie other than i forgot it traders Catch you tomorrow morning in Asia. Always remember to trade smart, not hard. It's 2018. Let's make some pips. Thank you, traders. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.